What is going on guys, welcome back to another play review. Today we are going to be looking at De Natale, the legend. He's not a team of season card, he's not a man of the match card, but just a simple inform, but a second inform. Is he any good? That's what we're gonna find out. But this guy is not retiring anymore. He announced today he is extending his career for a year and hoping for the best. So hopefully we could see him in FIFA 15 and he has good COD stats so we could, you know, hope for him being OP just like last year. Now, if you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coins, check out battlelay.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. Now, when I reviewed the first one, which is a non-inform, I haven't tried the inform, the non-inform, I reviewed him when finesse shots were broken right at the beginning of the game. So he was completely insane during that phase. But after EA patched that up and made finesse shots just less OP, basically he isn't as effective as he was before. And that is the reason why you start to see less and less of him in teams. Now I have to say he's a good he's good as as, as a centre attacking midfielder, but as a striker, I wouldn't really put him there. Very good very good pace to begin with, very good dribbler, which is awesome. This guy is awesome because he's short and his dribbling is amazing. So he's like as good as Aguero's dribbling. Seriously, very, very good dribbler. Also, amazing finish in the penalty area. This guy should be easy to finish with in the penalty area. With perfect work rates, this guy's always in position. High attacking, low defending, always going to be there when you need him. Now, he has full star skills and full star weak foot as well. So, what more can you want? Good long shots and shot power. Remember this, only good. Not not exactly amazing even when you look at his in-game stats I thought I was expecting more but it wasn't that great so it was decent enough to score you maybe a long shot every now and then but it wasn't as powerful as say I don't know Ibarbo when he's running at full pace and shooting uh, can be can be played in various positions if you want you could bring this guy down as a central midfielder center attacking midfielder maybe plays a really you know really well as a center forward passing is great as well he will assist your strikers a couple of times you'll see this in the clips and also some of the stuff that I well the main highlight for me with uh, Dinatalia was his finesse shots as you guys know they are broken and I've pretty much mastered how you finesse shot um, in this game and I scored a really nice one against Loris. I mean Loris, Loris, I don't know how you say it, but seriously how did he not save that? He just stood there and when he went past him he started diving. Why would they even do that? The goalkeeper is well broken in this game. Now his disadvantages he is weak. I mean very very weak and that is very annoying in this game because you know you guys know how strength is really important in this game and this guy has none of that. Heading, this guy is gonna win you any headers. None at all. Shooting, like I said, I expected it to be more powerful. It's decent, but I just expected it to be more powerful by looking at his in-game stats. And I guess that's all there is to it for this play review, guys. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below who you would like me to review next because there is a lot of players to catch up on and, uh, you know, I've missed out on a lot of players. So let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day.